Good uh, very early morning. We are so glad you're here. Bailey Box, if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Here it is, Dopey 2020. It's so chilly by our apartment, but it's still chilly here in the parking lot, but not as bad as no, maybe the apartment. When we like left the apartment, I was like, oh my I had full on have like pants on, I had earmuffs on in the car, Sarah's got them in the bag. Um it's here. <laughs> Um, they switched things around again, and we don't know where. The thing is, I think that they, every event, they change it. I guess there has been lots of changes, more so there's Santa. Um, we don't know where the charity tents are. They're here, because... Yeah, they're here. We know they have it. We're sitting up We there. just don't look at the tents Ooh. a lot. Ooh. Ground graphic. <laughs> All right, we asked somebody, and they're over back by the finish line. So now we have to go upstream against all of that to try to get to them. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, and. Got an hour until race start, but of course the corrals are open. I lost my pants. Good, Miss Peter, are you ready to start this? Do you feel different this year? You feel way different this year than last year. I feel way different. I was even way saying more this morning, I was like, I feel like I'm more of a grown up this year. Which, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> what Well, I guess a lot happened in the past year. But I don't know, I just like, have a different sense of like peace around all of this, and it's like, Oh, it's a cool feeling. Bye. I love you. All right, my crowd. Forty-five minutes for race time. So, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You guys got it. Come on. Alrighty, so I am headed to the starting line. This is always one of my favorite views of Run Disney Weekends. And that's just all the runners getting into their corrals. Like there's just seas and seas of people. So cool. And I know how excited it makes Peter, so I just know he's in there somewhere getting all excited. 5 a.m. They're already moving Corral A up into lineup. The fun's about to begin. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Two to three minutes away. I think, I think Pluto's coming on stage. Chair athletes are about to go. Alrighty, Peter just texted me saying that he thinks he thinks that he's in either the first or second wave of Corelle, so he will be starting any second. Alright, John, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Yes. I'm gonna need you to fill some time so I can take a selfie. That's a cool little viewing spot. Alrighty, so with it being a shorter race, I'm just gonna go straight to the finish line. Thank you, Taylor, for saying hi to me at the starting line. That was really cool. Typically, Peter is like approached by people in the corral, so it's cool to see another professional spectator. Alrighty, so I had to stop walking just for a second so I could collect my thoughts and, and say this without all the hustle and bustle. The starting line energy is awesome for my side and Peter's side. And it's just like, it's so emotional because um, I don't know, to think that a full year has passed since the last Dopey. You guys know why Peter runs. He runs for me, he runs for our future children, he runs to live a long life and just 
you know, it's it was a big change when we decided that he was going to become a runner. And um, I don't know, I am so proud of Peter. My confidence in Peter, like, I sometimes am like, I'm really, I don't get stress or anxiety around these things, which is funny for somebody who is prone to stress and anxiety, because I just have so much confidence in Peter, so much pride in Peter, and I think it's so cool that, well, I get a front row seat to witness everything he's done, um, but that these weekends, these races, especially the Dopey, it kind of manifests just like everything we go through because not only is the race super fun and exciting, but it is hard, it is emotional, and I think it's just a great way, like, for us to celebrate everything we've been through, especially in the last year. Um, I mean, you guys have been there for everything, and I'm just so thankful that you guys enjoy these videos, that you cheer Peter on, that you donate to American Cancer Society alongside us. We've raised over $11,000 from Dopey to Dopey. I don't know, just like being here again, and it being another Dopey is just so incredible to me. Um, so I just want to thank you and also just thank Peter for doing this and for, of course, you know, we're a team through everything we do, but I'm so proud of him and I'm so excited um, for more races. You guys know how much he loves it. So it's just, I don't know, it's a great weekend. So thank you for, for coming along. I right, just over a mile in and we're on the showcase. All lit up and looking good. Here we go, got the beast over in France. I think I'm leaving. I think we leave the World Showcase at International Gateway. Here's Mal P marker. Now it's all to the fish. Alrighty, I am so happy because I can get close to the finish line again. For wine and nine, it was so far away. So this is awesome. Today, there you go. First race of the weekend, John. Woohoo! 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 First medal of the weekend. Peter kicked butt. Um, I just texted him, he says he feels good, so I'm just waiting for him now. Um, you know. I love the snacks he gets. You feel good? I feel great. Look at that. Wow. And the light. Oh so nice. It is really nice. I love the, um, what is this called? We, oh, we never know. Lanyard? <laughs> Something like that. It's a lanyard. So cool. I like, he's like, no cares in the world. Yeah, he's just being Pluto. Awesome job. What was your time? Uh, I just hit it up. It was good. 2609, 823 mile. Wow. You know we love the snacks that come along with it. Tortilla chips, these little ricey guys. This go-go blast, it's got all kinds of fruit in it. Um, this little fruit bar, but the most controversial return the cheddar cheese flavored cheese snack and a moist towelette yeah last was it i think it was wine and dine they had hummus instead of the cheese and like there was we a, were happy about it because <laughs> yeah because we could eat it cheese, but the world but it wasn't that delicious like i remember i was like if that was like someone's first hummus experience they might not be impressed um i love this cheese i wish i could eat it but it's pretty funny that I mean, it's good. They listened to what people had to say. Later. Oh, look at those hand motions. We haven't vlogged since we've been apart. We haven't vlogged at all since this morning? No. Oh, it is, as you can see over Sarah's shoulder, it is 6.40 p.m. We need to go to bed in the next like two hours. Yes, and we both had crazy days. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, we're about to devour this and it looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for making it. Sarah and I had both of us had crazy slash bad slash good days. Sla yeah, like productive slash not so you, fun. <laughs> not fun. So you guys know I've been working on like a crazy project. 
And I mentioned before, it's like a, it's supposed to be automated, but we've like started the process, so it now that's been keeping me busy, and I haven't been able to automate it. Well, I mean, honesty is key in life, and it finally came to fruition. Not fruition. Finally came to light that there were pieces of my job that were slipping through the cracks that came to and light. And you guys know how much Peter's been working. So imagine <laughs> how much work there is if things are still falling through the cracks. And so I told my direct boss yesterday and his counterpart yesterday, and like, hey, we need to, we need to, this is what's been happening. This is what's been missing. We need to work on this. It's like the relief. Hopefully that'll help our hearts just overall. It helps my heart and my mind. It's, we just gotta get the work done. Yeah. But at least like, the urgency of like, there's a lot going on, so we need to do get it. it all figured out. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna eat, do a little bit of work, work, go and then go to bed. Oh. Bless you, Evie. Good bless you. Ah! Oh. oh. Uh, all right, it's late. We should be, we should have gotten in bed eight minutes ago, but we're really situated. I did more work. Sarah did more work. You feel good? Yeah. Eve was giving me kisses so I might have a lot of reaction on my face. No, you look good. But otherwise, I feel good. But we're all set up. Shorts, socks, shirt I'm wearing tomorrow. Oswald for the 10K. Got my, my dopey bib strapped down with my bib boards. I, I want to get TBP bib boards made. And we can. And then I'm, we're actually going to get fancier tomorrow. So if you didn't enjoy the content from today's camera, because it was my cell phone, don't worry. I'm charging the batteries for my GoPro. So we'll be good there. Where my Nike reacts tomorrow. Steve and his family have checked in to the resort for the weekend. He's running the half. This pup is a little freaked out that we were home all night, but she she's good. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Today is January 9th. The message by E. V. Lucas. No one can lay a hand on our dreams. Oh, I like that. So we do need to go, ooh, we gotta figure something out. What? We gotta go to Fleet Feet tomorrow. Well, I do have an allergic reaction going on. Um, we do have to go to Fleet Feet tomorrow. Yeah. But I also wanna go to Disney property in the afternoon. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I might have enough Martins just to make me be fine for the half marathon, considering half marathon is still not what I wanna empty my tank on. Right. Marathon is what I'm trying to, depending on how I feel. I'm gonna yeah. try to PR sub four hours, hopefully. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I feel good. I'm gonna roll Thanks out. Thanks for a all your bit. encouragement yeah, today. You guys are incredible and, with um, the messaging and the tweeting and, and saying hi. So many of you said hi to us this yeah, morning. Yeah, that was so and cool. And that was some of my favorite part. Like the past two days, like we love when anybody says hi, but the last two days have been extra special because like the run Disney events mean so much to us. Why we run means so much to us. So to hear from some of you. We've been having crummy days, so like, like when really we met nice. Caitlin and her parents yesterday, mm -hmm. like to hear them say like, "Oh, we came from Indianapolis, and all Caitlin wanted to do was to see us," and they literally saw us within a few hours of getting on the property. Like that was incredible. Yeah. All the runners that we met this morning and telling us that we are part of their inspiration to start running, like that's crazy, insane to us. So we just want to say we love you guys, and you guys have honestly helped get us through some of our darkest days the past couple months. Mm -hmm. So, for thank sure. you. Yeah, and if you want to track Peter while he runs, go ahead and sign up for tracking. It's in the link of the description. Um, and then if, I, if you did a, um, if you signed up for the text notifications, if it asked you for a keyword, it's WDW because that that came after it. And if you don't mm -hmm. press in WDW, they don't know that this is the race that uh, you're tracking because yes. other people have this bib number in other races. And the timing should actually start tomorrow. So I think if you sign up for today, you might not have. Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten I, They timed me because they have to because I'm a dopey challenge. But I don't. Dope? Yes, because I'm a dope. But they actually start sending the text messages out every. It should be every, every five k. Yeah. Um. So we'll get five k. We'll we'll get the halfway mark and finish line tomorrow. Notifications because that's when the real timing starts. You can get kicked off the route to the, tomorrow. Um, today I don't think they do that. That's cool. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>